Hello boys and girls, here is a Sharp GF8585, right? <clears throat> and it looks like that, and it, uh, it really is a, that right there, okay? And it's got the full complement of RCA jacks in the back, all right? And that's all we're going to show you of that one. And then, we're going to pull this one over, which is, okay, which is also... A sharp GF8585, right? And it looks like that, okay? And in the back, it also has, come on now, it also has a full complement of RCA jacks in the back, okay? And it is, again, that model, okay? A little bit different, an X model, all right? Now, just, and I do have it plugged in, so briefly, it works okay so so much for that and then because both this one and that one have the same issue I uh, here. I bought this right here okay so I have two of those coming to me pretty soon all right enough of that and then let me go back over here briefly and now there's a what is that RXC38 works okay enough of that all right so now put the camera on the tripod back here all right so flip this around so I can see it all right so that's on the floor let's go the other way okay great so now I got this in the mail the other day, and uh, I can hear something loose in here. Okay, that's all we're gonna do is that like that. All right, so now without further ado, let's open this up. I can do it like this, so just, yeah, I came here, okay, so, there we go, so now, so now, no. let's go the other way, yeah. got a little rattling going on, I'm not exactly sure, what, but, okay, so, let's that out of the way, so here we go, you see this on the floor, yeah, you can fuck it good, so, here is this, Board. I mean, not, I mean, just cut and pick a newspaper. Just <laughs> a little thin piece of newspaper, you know? I mean, it's just crazy. But, you see that? That looks so familiar, doesn't it? And again, this has got, well, it probably has batteries in here, probably still. That's what I'm hearing. Because it all looks to be correct. There's that. There's this. And, uh, and here's the tape at the top, right? So. And there we are. So. So, but I just want to show you that this is not, well, I didn't bring my remote with me, did I? Where is the remote? I'm just going to let this sit here for a moment while I go and get the remote. Okay, let's see here. I forgot to bring the remote. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Coming back. Coming back. Right. So now, whoopsies. This. It's just, uh, okay, so. Alright. Got the remote. <laughs> Where is the best? I guess right about there. There we go. It's a NEC. Yep, NEC. How about that? Who would have thought that? <laughs> so, and it also has the, uh, let's see, once again, full complement of RCA Jack stuff in the back, but. Just don't know what's making all that rattling noise. So, without further ado, let's open up the battery compartment. And how about that? <laughs> okay. So we've got some national high top batteries. We've got a grand total of one, two, three, four national high top batteries. All right. These are the. Um, now, Matsushita Electric, okay, let me see if I can just, okay, kind of hard to hold all this, there we go, and just uh, get that there, get the remote, and once again, well, okay, let me put this down uh, briefly, let's see here, so. Where is, there we go. That's what came in the, came in the battery compartment. Okay, so, anyway, are we having fun yet? So, there's four of these. They're not rusted or, or corroded or anything. They're just like that. All right, so, moving on. <laughs> All the way back out. Great. Okay, so now let me get the box out of the way. There is nothing. There's no power cord, right? So, no power cord. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. And the battery compartment is uh, clean as far as I can see. There's no appreciable rust or anything. Just the normal surface rust, but no, you know, no rust really. Okay. So there it goes. And uh, while I'm at it, or if I didn't show it already, let me try this again. All right, another zoom. All right, one more zoom. So, well, I just hold it. <laughs> well, I'm trying to show you the this here. All right, so, well, if I hold it steady enough, you should be able to see it. Let's see if I can get any closer. There we go. That's good enough. There you go, that's what it is, okay. And uh, about there. This has the Japanese characters. Let's see here, um, okay. Let's see, get it in the sun. In the sun, the light. Okay, well, it's the best I can do from, from afar. All right, so without further ado, let's try plug it in and see what happens, because I've already ascertained that my power is good. This runs on 100 volts, as you've already seen. Oh, and it's got your whatever here on the end. It's got your uh, uh, your speaker jacks, your headphone jack, your A and B, I guess, for the uh, beat cut or whatever. It's got a 12-volt uh, input, DC, and also an AC input, rectangular, okay. And I had a rectangular one plugged into this one here, which I briefly turned on. So let's briefly, let's see here. It's in the off position. Okay. And so plug that in. All right. Uh-oh. I just noticed that the uh, cabinetry is not quite screwed up closed correctly or it's not matching. Well, anyway, I, I'm sure it just needs to be taken apart and put back together. That's <laughs> So that's okay. That's AM. So 
your own eternity? Would you like to speak with someone who can listen? Someone who can answer questions that you might have? Well, Dr. you pastors who would love to assist you in that. Amen. So... working well here let's see if I can play a cassette I brought my one of these demonstration tape things out here so let's hit stop okay just drop this in because the heads came down and all that so that in hit that hit play oh wow it works but it runs a little slow Volume needs cleaning. Yep, didn't like that. Okay, so. Oh, it ate the tape. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's see here. We'll just wind this back up in here. Now, I'd hate to take because the take up reel, uh, I'm just real curious on this model if it's similar to the uh, tape decks that are in the um, in the other two sharps here. So, <clears throat> but I just thought this was unique, so I just had to have it because it's an NEC as opposed to being a sharp. So I'm curious when I have time to open it up and check it out whether or not it has uh, the sharp innards on it with the NEC on the outside or, or how that goes like that. But I just thought I'd show it to you like this, you know, fresh out of the box as you see it. And uh, so on and so forth. Alright, so it, oh, anyway, I'm not going to bore you to death with all that. Let me get the camera off the tripod and just give you a uh, up close and personal view at full resolution. <laughs> okay, so just so much fun here. Alright, so all right, so it's a, okay, so that's the, okay, so we have, okay, so this one's an English version, Now that's the uh, one with the, the open woofers, and this is also an English version, or, you know, you can read the controls, but it has the, you know, the, those kind of grills, and this one has the open face grills, which are, let's see, wait, that's got a silver, oh, that's, even more different wow so these have that kind of speaker right right it has that kind of speaker but this has a chrome dome wow you know the dust cover is chrome and um so like i said this has just you know this part right here is not closed properly and it's got some issues with the uh, volume but it works and i just thought it was unique to get so Good day, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Can't wait to repair these two with the parts I showed you from eBay. And this one here probably needs, if it has the same mechanism as the Sharp, it probably needs the little tiny, the little tiny uh, rubber part 
and then the, also the, uh, well, just both rubber parts replaced. Okay, well, I've had too much fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.